Hello. How are you? Back in March, these two strangers met for the first time in an airport arrivals hall. Oh, bless you. Let um, Andrew help you with your bags. You can see the relief and awkwardness as Ilona Lemeha, escaping the war in Ukraine, was welcomed to the UK and then into Sarah Headley's home. Now, Ilona is not just a guest. The two have become close friends. That one's pretty. Looking past that initial six-month mark, would you be happy to keep Alona living with you? Yeah, of course, yeah, for as long as she needs. I think it would actually be really sad when you do leave. It would be really sad. And how has it been living with Sarah and her family? Oh, to be honest, I'm very lucky with this family. Really, I'm, I'm the lucky person. Maybe. Over 90,000 Ukrainians have found oh, refuge yeah. in British homes. But with no end to the war in sight, some hosts are facing extremely difficult decisions. Max, have something. Oh, oh, fantastic. When Louise Hyam took in Marta Sahaidak and her two sons, it was only meant to be temporary. Louise is in the process of becoming a foster carer and needs her home back to help others. There's always been this deadline looming and now we're both not sleeping because there's no way on earth I'm going to make her homeless. Marta has a job here and hopes she can scrape together the deposit she'll need to rent a house. But she's found landlords are reluctant to rent to refugees. I don't know what will be happened with me and my children. Louise says she's also looked for someone else to host Marta's family in West Sussex, but couldn't find anyone with space. It does feel like all the responsibility is on our shoulders for their welfare going forward. And that's quite harsh and actually quite shocking. The charity Opora estimates that one in ten refugees who've been hosted in English households have moved out before six months. Sky News also submitted freedom of information requests to councils across the UK. Of those that responded, three in four said a relationship breakdown was the most common cause for hosts wanting guests to leave. Some Ukrainians have returned home, but Marta says it's still too dangerous for her and her children to go back. So with no obvious solution and lots of sleepless nights, both she and Louise are desperate for help. Becky Cottrell, Sky News, West Sussex.